Everywhere you look in Charlotte, there's a new apartment complex or office building being built, and that's great. As someone who calls Charlotte home, you know, this is exciting. Our city's booming, and that's great for everyone. But recent reports make you take that information with a grain of salt. North Carolina isn't a preferred place to build for demand alone. Local construction companies have engaged in widespread wage and hour abuses, and the North Carolina Department of Labor isn't doing anything about it. And what this means is that um, construction companies can get away with paying workers less, and that saves them a lot of money, but it's illegal. What they're doing is in direct violation of the law, and it's also driven out a lot of competitors that are trying to play by the rules. It's also bad for employees who are just trying to make a living here in the construction industry. And these abuses take form in two main ways that I want to discuss. The first is misclassification. And what misclassification uh, typically means is that Construction companies are hiring, bringing on workers, and they're paying them as independent contractors rather than employees. And that's important for a few reasons. Um, first, it lets the construction contractor get off the hook for paying a lot of taxes. Some reports have estimated upwards of $500 million a year. Um, that has a negative impact on the economy. And this can have a really detrimental effect on the employee too, because when you're paid on a 1099, your taxes aren't withheld from your paycheck. Um, you forget to pay those taxes at the end of the year, it can have a disastrous effect. And also, you're not afforded the rights of nine to five workers who are regular employees. And misclassification, and what I mean by misclassification is when you call someone an independent contractor, that person needs to be in control of, of, of their own tools, they need to control you know, basically what they do, not report to one employer, but kind of have free will to work for whoever they want. Um, but that's just not the case here, and numerous reports have shown that the people are just being misclassified and, and not paid properly. The second way this takes effect is under the table payments. Now this is particularly damaging because it usually affects those uh, who are most vulnerable. And what I mean by that is immigrants who are afraid to speak up. So what employers do, and, and this is well documented, is they'll bring on a large workforce of undocumented workers, typically from Latin America, and they'll pay them under the table. And by that I mean they pay them cash, or otherwise it's off the books. But what that employee loses out on is, again, the protections of a normal employee. So they lose out on, on laws making it so your employer has to pay you time and a half for every hour you work over 40 per week. They lose out on even having to be paid a minimum wage, and employers take advantage to a huge degree here in North Carolina. And both of these types of payments, misclassification, under the table, they're patently illegal, and you need to speak up if this is happening to you. The North Carolina Wage and Hour Act and other North Carolina laws provide protections. So if you've suffered some of these wage abuses, speak up. If you've been misclassified, you've probably lost out on time that you've earned, both in hours that you've worked that went unreported, and time and a half for your work over 40 hours a week. And the same goes if, if you were paid under the table. Speak out. And one more important reminder, it is illegal for an employer to retaliate against you if you complain about being misclassified or being paid under the table illegally. What's more, an employer cannot threaten you with deportation. In other words, if you're here and, and you're undocumented and you're just working every day and you say to your employer, hey, this isn't right, and they say, well, just go to work or I'm gonna call, you know, I'm gonna call somebody and have you deported. That is patently illegal and they cannot do that. You need to speak with an attorney if that happens. This is a big problem and it's not gonna fix itself. At Van Camp and Law, we wanna do our part to get employers to pay employees what they've earned.